So I've just watched the 2023 route launch video for Cape Epic. And yeah, it looks exciting. I think there's going to be some some difficult stages um, for a few reasons, I guess, riding 100 kilometer stages back to back in the heat, um, especially Hermanus. Um, I've raced there in 2017 and possibly since then as well. And it's always hot. It's always difficult. Um, the climbing is slow and hard and rocky and just the terrain is, is difficult there. So to have two minor stages, I think that's going to be starting with quite a bang. Um, yeah, and then going to, to Oak Valley on the transfer stage, we're back at Oak Valley. Um, haven't been there in a few years as well. Um, I really enjoy the riding around there. Um, there's awesome trails and yeah, obviously some tough climbs thrown in there as well. I think the stage for the time trial is going to be interesting. Um, to do a 47k time trial is a pretty long time trial on a mountain bike, um, especially after what we've already done to get there. Um, so I think it's going to require really good teamwork. Um, you, know, you really have to get the best out of your partner in a stage like that, especially since it's just the two of you um, racing against the clock. So I think that'll throw an interesting an interesting um, point into the race, actually. Um, yeah, and then off to, to Lawrenceford again, which is actually was a great introduction last year. Um, lovely trails around there. Also can be quite dusty, dry and hot. Um, and we all know that that one climb we did on day one last year in Lawrenceford was just such a talking point. And I think everybody faced their fears and their demons over there. So I'm sure there's a few of those up um, Cape Epic sleeve as well. Um, but yeah, all in all, oh, and then finishing on Val de Vie again. Um, always nice to, yeah, to have such a, a lovely finish to the Cape Epic, um, to ride into Val de Vie. It's kind of become like, you know, when I watched the video, seeing these people cross the finish line, like it brought back a lot of memories and emotions over the last few years um, of completing the eight days. So yeah, looking forward to getting to that finish line as well again. This is the Absent Cape Epic. Hmm. So that's going to be a tough one. Um, definitely taking on us on some super fan trails. I would recommend <laughs> incorporating some running, especially for uh, that nice portage section that we are getting so used to. Um, oh, it's hard to say what the weather's going to do, but usually our mono side is nice and all usually a bit cooler, but we've had years where it's excruciating heat. So, I mean, it can go either way. Um, it'll definitely be a challenge, but I think the guys at the Epsic Epic has definitely selected some of the most magical trails and incorporated literally all my favorite bits so i'm excited to see how it pans out and super stoked to line up at the 2023 epsi cape again see you guys there <laughs>